All right, ladies and gentlemen, Yodi Slay here bringing you a little three-player zombie action on Moon. I know right away you're probably looking at the screen and you're like, what the French toast? The gun is on the left side of the screen. What in the French toast is going on? All right, calm down, calm down. Every time I do this, somebody always thinks that I'm actually playing the game like this and I'm not. I actually edited it, edited it to where it's like this. I have a program called uh, Freemake Video Converter, uh, which allows me to convert different video formats to different types, you know, in case I want like an MP4 to go to WMV or vice versa. Um, it actually has an editing option within it to where you can like flip the image, uh, like say in this case backwards, I guess. You can also flip it upside down and stuff like that. And then you just kind of re render it, convert it to that, to like this, what you see now. Um, every time I post one of these videos, somebody always thinks that it's something I'm doing in my Xbox, and it's not. When I play this, it's actually normal, you know, the guns on the normal side and everything. I do this completely after I render it, or uh, my, I, uh, yeah, record it. That's the word I'm looking for. Uh, so, yeah, I've posted some multiplayer games doing this. And a lot of people think it's pretty cool. It does mess with your mind. Uh, maybe not so much now because I'm in the biodome. For you PS3 guys, it probably uh, doesn't mess with your heads at all because you haven't even played them. Um, but you can still see here how it's kind of like, whoa, dude. You know, especially when I get in the holes later on when we start working our way towards a spawn. You'll think you should be turning one way when you got to turn the other. And, dude, it's just, I think it's really cool. I'm actually thinking about doing a whole complete live com and then flipping it like this just for uh, shits and gigs. And I think it would be pretty neat. You know, I'll actually try to do like a challenge to round 30 and then flip the entire thing. And then it will really screw with your heads once you see me running around the map and stuff like that. I'll be running around the mountain when he come. You'll be coming around the mountain when he come. Don't ask me where that came from. I apologize. Uh, but anyways, guys, I want to talk about my little Earth video that I posted up earlier this morning. Um... I'm getting two little like comments and I want to address those issues on why I still believe Area 51 is not on Earth. Uh, the first thing people keep telling is, is Area 51 actually broke off of the Earth after uh, the rockets exploded. And this is why I'm going to go into like why I don't believe that is what happened. Um, okay, say the say Area 51 did break off as a huge chunk off of the Earth and is just floating freely out in outer space. Okay, first off, there would be no gravity because it's essentially just a huge rock, and you know it's not connected to the Earth anymore, so there would be no gravity. There would be no atmosphere, and so therefore no oxygen. But there is oxygen, so where are we? Like I don't, I'm not saying that. I don't really know what's going on. This is why I'm coming to you guys for help on this. And this is where it's really going to start getting trippy because you think I should turn one way. The stick gets over on the left and all that good stuff. But anyways, that's why I don't think it broke off of the earth. You know, there's no gra or there is gravity, but if it was just a big rock, there would be no like gravitational pull because it's not connected to the earth. There's also no atmosphere, so there would be no gravity. Uh, the second thing I'm hearing is that Triarch was just too lazy uh, to take it out, they actually use the same backdrop as the sky on Moon itself. But come on, guys. Chirac put so much detail into the zombie maps, so many hidden things. You think they're actually going to leave out the huge Earth in the sky and then basically put it to where nobody can barely see it unless you go back to the back corner? I think that, that it's meant to be there. I don't, I'm not sure why yet. Maybe it's a hint of something. Or maybe it's just trying to say that where we go pack a punch isn't on the earth itself. I'm not really sure. But think of all the detail they put into these zombie maps. I really don't think they would have... Uh, I don't think they would take the shortcut on just that little part there and leave something as big as the earth in there. You know, I could see if it was like... Um, maybe like... I don't know, but I just don't see it being like that. I really think that we are, Area 51 is not on the Earth, or I don't really know what to believe at this point. I just want to know why you can see the Earth from Area 51. I think it's really going to be cool if it's hinting at maybe um, another zombie another map maybe like based off Area 51, you know, where is that on another planet? Is it on the where is Area 51? 
So I think it's pretty interesting. You know, I'll post in the video response if you've not seen that video to this one so you guys know what I'm talking about. I, you know, it's definitely, I just don't see Tarek being that lazy. I've said that now like 20 times. So I promise to you, I will not say it again. I did not have sexual relations with that woman. But anyways, guys, this was our last stand right there. You can see Loser King just dolphin dives off the cliff. I follow with I Will Kill as a close third to me. Basically, we've been playing for eight and a half hours and we had enough. I was ready to go to bed. But guys... If you haven't subscribed and you want to see hella zombie content, please do that. And please remember to rate and subscribe. Yodi, signing out.